Well, last night we aired the hour debate between the three candidates for the Republican nomination for U.S. Senate up in Fort Wayne. But our political reporter Kevin Rader says the real fireworks really took place during the 30 minutes after the debate. He has a story now from Fort Wayne. Once the 60-minute debate was over, the 30-minute debate began. This was a free-for-all where you could ask any question you wanted. Well, the candidates started asking questions of one another, and it led to, yes, those personal attacks again. Todd Rakita was told last week by the Trump administration to take down his advertisements because he's faking, he's faking support from the Trump campaign. He's got the support of a That's couple a lie. Trump campaign volunteers. Then why is Mike Braun's solution to every problem to raise taxes? 45 times, including the state's largest in history. I don't think that's the solution to anything. When you're in the last gasp of losing a career, you'll do or say anything. So when he came is, up is with that, that wrong? when I mean, he came up with that, say you didn't raise not, taxes. sir, I'm going to ask you not to do that, Mr. Braun. When he came up with that, that was the road bill that Governor Daniels, Governor Pence, Governor Holcomb, and then finally a state legislature that had enough fortitude to know that we had a long-term problem. Recently we find out, hmm, Luke Messer withholds, withholds his driver, driving record when he's going to replace someone who was in office who was killed by a drunk driver. He attacks my past. Listen, I've acknowledged my mistakes. They happened 23 and 28 years ago, and Hoosiers care a whole lot more about our state's future than they do our past. So ended the 2018 Lincoln Day dinner candidate debate, but there is more still to come. In fact, this Sunday, I'll go one-on-one -on -one with Mike Braun on Indiana Insiders. In Fort Wayne, Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.